Hi there everyone and I've started my laser hair removal journey. Yes, I went for my test patches and then on uh, then I waited a week and then um, on Saturday and it's now the Wednesday I've done the first session. So yes, very exciting times, very exciting times indeed. And I've done a few videos of my progress so far, 10 hours after, and then a day after. And then now I'm sort of on the four day, four and a half day after the treatment. And I had it done on my chest, an area on my neck and my arms as well. And it's working out okay so far. I've been carefully looking after my skin and hopefully, hopefully, um, the hairs are going to start dropping out anytime soon. Anytime soon, fingers crossed. So yes, not too many side effects, but I'll go into the initial sort of like, I was just a little bit sensitive here. My arms were okay, they were fine. A little bit sensitive on my chest and my neck was just went a little bit red. I've got makeup on at the moment on my face, so unfortunately there's not a lot going on on my face, but the chest area is okay. It's coming along nicely. I just need to make sure that I look after my skin and don't do anything too much. Make sure I cover up in the sun or put on a sunscreen. So that's what I've been doing. Let's take a look now at the videos that I made. Okay, so this is about 10 hours post-treatment across this area here. And uh, as you can see, it's um, there's been a little bit of reaction, a little bit of redness still there going on. It felt very warm before, but it's starting to uh, ease off a lot more now. No real discomfort, just sort of a, a warm feeling um, on my chest area. As for my arms, we'll look at my arms. Looking at my arms, uh, they've responded really well and uh, there was a little bit of redness when we started but apart from that everything's gone really well. A couple of like um, hair follicles came up, sort of like they look like little mosquito bites there but they seem to have, uh, they went away very quickly. Um, by the time the session was over they were, they were gone. Um, but I got my arms done all along here and there's nothing particularly um, painful or, or sore. The only thing that I did notice at the start was like some dry skin just came off, some dead dry skin came off straight away. I think you can just see, not sure if the camera will pick it up, but ever so slightly just there, there was still a, probably a little bit of just dead skin flaking off, but I don't think that was anything to worry about. And uh, that's my arms, sort of 10 hours in, not too bad. And for the neck area, I've done a patch there on my neck. And this is sort of 10, 11 hours in. And as we can see, it's still red at the moment. The redness is fading away. So we'll sort of see how things look the next day after treatment. But that's the area treated there. So as you can see, there's still redness in that area. But obviously just the chest area there is, uh, is like that. And then summarizing just there. So we'll see how we go on in the, uh, in the tomorrow. And that was after 10 hours. And now we'll take a look a day later. Okay, so this is after about a day and a half and the redness has gone down an awful lot, thankfully, across here. It's gone down a lot more because that was the only thing that was sort of like worrying me a little bit. And then for the neck area, we'll take a look there. Okay, so this is the neck area about a day and a half after treatment. So there's some redness still there, but it's starting to fade away. This one came up red and then it's just been slowly fading away. So that's the uh, 
the area that I did just there and you can still see it because it's uh, still red at the moment so we'll see how quickly that dissipates okay and for arms this is about a day and a half again this is how my arms are looking they're really good absolutely fine at the moment I can't see any any major issues happening there so I'll just have to keep an eye on everything but um, the arms have been the best treatment area so far I've not had any any sort of strangeness with the arms at all so that's really good on the arms at least and everything's starting to uh, disappear now which is great yes so and now obviously I'm getting a lot lot better the skin's slowly recovering nicely and uh, yes an interesting experience uh, the laser wasn't too painful but just certain areas certainly where on my collarbone where there's no fat just skin it was a lot more painful there and obviously the face area well sorry the neck area because the hairs are far more denser so there's a lot more heat going in there and uh, heating things up but I didn't get any blisters or anything like that so that's the main thing it was a safe treatment and uh, yeah really good really good so far anyway so we shall see how we go on i will keep you updated i will keep you posted i can't wait to get rid of all my hair especially on my face because i have to put so much makeup on at the moment just to cover up my male facial hair which is not nice at all because i am transgender and want to be a woman so not good not good at all but we will get there in the end and I will keep you updated I was quite nervous at the time but the laser technician uh, put me at ease so that was the main thing absolutely great and uh, yes uh, went through medical history blah 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 on the first thing before the test patches made sure I wasn't in the sun on any weird medication that can uh, cause photosensitivity or anything like that or hyperpigmentation so that was all fine that was all okay and um, like I say the real test was the larger areas and it's turned out okay turned out okay certainly uh, leave yourself a day though if you're going for a laser treatment just to uh, let everything settle down you don't really want to be doing anything too extraneous or, or getting too warm either really so that's the main thing and uh, yeah it's great starting my true uh, transgender journey now really transition journey uh, definitely definitely good and definitely definitely exciting really like the fact that I'm uh, pushing forward pushing forward yes 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 <laughs> so that's my update on laser hair removal please leave me a comment down below if you've had laser hair removal or how it's gone the equipment used on me was the Quanta Systems Quanta Thunder MT which has an air cooler and it was an Alexandrite laser with a YAG, ND YAG laser as well and they combined both to get the most optimal treatment so yes less painful um, than others I've been told and uh, it wasn't too painful the process wasn't too painful just a they say it's like a snapping elastic band and it's, it's kind of but but not at the same time it's more of heating up hairs in a flash <laughs> uh, that's probably the best way to describe it so yes okay though generally okay generally safe so we'll just see what happens with that then shall we <laughs> please subscribe down below if you're um, thinking of following my journey and want to see more videos don't forget to give me a big like if you enjoyed watching this video and check out the Padinga subscriber and please check out these other videos here and here yes 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 thank you for stopping by bye 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 Hey. <laughs>